imagine you're a burglar. As a burglar, you go into a neighborhood and you start, you know, knocking on the doors and see if one of the doors is open. This is, of course, very suspicious. And, you know, you only can do it in one neighborhood at a time. But now we have the global internet where you can knock on millions of doors anonymously, where nobody can track you. And this is what happens all day long. Everything you put on the internet unprotected will get probed. There's research out there that even tells you the time it takes until you're compromised. And we are talking here about minutes. Unfortunately, this is something we see in the security operations center more than enough. The issue in, in cybersecurity is always the problem of attribution. Often, unfortunately, the IP they are attacking us with is not their IP. If the adversary is guilty, we use several hops. So the system that is attacking us is basically just another victim of the same hacker. The way I like to talk about a security operation center is like a, a hallway where the guy who wants to break into the bank has to run through this hallway, but you have all these laser pointers and he has to go around them to go into the vault. This is what we are doing in a security operation center. The skilled hackers can maybe go around four of them, but we will get them at the fifth one. I think the biggest change is still ahead of us. We need to go to a more visual approach where we look at, at huge chunks of data at the same time. We look at patterns emerging and we are trying to find out why is this pattern there and try to go more to a hunt style mode of security analysis. Unfortunately, it's a cat and mouse game. The issue is that whenever we put a new defense into place, the hackers will find a way to get around it. And the way to get ahead, I think, is you put as many tripwires and as many laser beams into the attacker's way to try to find him. And this is the only way we can get ahead.